Hi there, I'm Lee. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to unstick a stuck Bitcoin transaction. So first of all, what do I mean by a stuck transaction? A stuck transaction is when you send a Bitcoin transaction and you don't receive any confirmations. So Bitcoin blocks are done in 10 minute blocks. So roughly after 10 minutes or maybe a little longer, you should receive your first confirmation. That's if everything goes normally and then you get your follow up confirmations, the transaction goes through as normal. A stuck transaction, what happens is you send the transaction, but you don't get any confirmations. It goes to the, uh, the Bitcoin mempool and it just sits there. From that point, the miners are kind of being processing the transactions, but because of the transaction fees, they can pick and choose what they want to put in each block. And what that then happens is that your transaction kind of gets uh, put to the very back of the queue and the transaction doesn't go through. Eventually, the transaction might go through after 12 hours, maybe 24, if you're lucky. But a lot of the time, the transaction will just kind of get stuck and it won't move for days. It will be um, stuck effectively permanently until you take some sort of um, action. So in this video, what I wanted to share with you is a process that you can use to unstick that stuck transaction. Um, just before I want to continue, there is um, two uh, points that I want to consider or want you guys to consider, which is uh, pretty important. One is there is a cost for this service. It's not a free service. There is a cost of the service and it's quite expensive. Um, I've used it twice for quite big transactions and in both those cases, the fee was um, 65 or $68. So this service might not be suitable for you. Um, so depending on your transaction size, that, that fee should kind of go up and down depending on the transaction size, but I've just tested it uh, with a small amount and, and the transaction fee was also still quite large. So it might not be suitable for you. So. Um, consider that. The other thing is as well is that the transaction fee or the fee payable for this service is payable only in Bitcoin cash. Um, I'm not going to go into details why that is but that's just the way it is. So the transaction fee is quite high for this service and it also needs to be payable in Bitcoin cash. So please consider those two things um, before we get started. Now let's move on. Uh, assuming you've got a stuck Bitcoin transaction I'll show you how to unstick it and get it get it moving. So if we open up our browser, you can see uh, this is obviously my YouTube channel and one of my most recent videos, which is the Open Dime video. Now, funnily enough, the transaction, the Bitcoin transaction that I sent to this Bitcoin uh, wallet uh, actually got stuck. So in this, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how we're going to unstick it. So you're going to need a couple of things. One is either the Bitcoin receiving address or the Bitcoin sending address or the Bitcoin transaction itself, uh, the reference. So here we've got the Bitcoin transaction address. So this is the outbound address. I used why uh, the Bitcoin tips address, by the way, if anyone is interested. Then if we go to a blockchain explorer, in this case, I've got the blockchain.info and then you would paste it into the search bar. So what we're doing is we're pasting our outgoing Bitcoin address into the search bar and it will show us the details for that address. And then we'll look down and we'll see transactions. So here you can see this is our outgoing address. And this address here, that is the open dime address. We've got the amount, which is 0.001 Bitcoin. We've also got, um, that's kind of like a callback. It just goes, it goes back into the address. And it's an unconfirmed transaction. And this was sent, um, I think, two or maybe three days ago now. And it's just been um, sitting there. Oh, you can see the date now. Yeah, yeah sorry, the, it's the 6th that it was sent and it's currently the 8th. So it's been sitting there for two days, nothing is happening. So the next part that we want to do to kind of get this uh, transaction moving, if we select the transaction itself, which is this link here, you can see a little bit more information regarding the transaction. Uh, the One of the important things to consider is if you send your transactions with a high enough fee in the first place, you won't get stuck transactions. The transactions will propagate through the network normally. But sometimes this still can happen. It really depends on which wallet that you're using. Anyway, if we copy our transaction reference, which is this part up here, on and see, we copy that. And then the next site that we want to go to is uh, btc.com so it's another Bitcoin site and these sites um, they have wallets and pools there's a lot of um, people involved with it and once again we're going to paste this transaction reference into the search bar 
So it's a little bit similar to the blockchain um, info site. I mean, you could have just put your wallet address straight into there and gone through the same process. But anyway, we can see the same information again. We've got the inputs and the outputs. And once again, it's an unconfirmed transaction. But on this one, you'll also notice there is this transaction accelerator, big red link up there. So if we click on this, it'll give us our transaction ID. It's got the transaction size in bytes and the price. You can see here it's $64.85. Pretty expensive. And like I say, for this size transaction, I think when I sent it, it was only $12 transaction. So for this transaction, it wouldn't be worth it, but I'm just going to demonstrate what the process is. So we could add in a email address as a reference here. That's just really going to be for our receipt. It also asks for a, a geographic location. I don't know why it asks that. I don't think it needs that, but um, I select Europe in any case. Um, there's a couple of options regarding the pay. I've not used any of the other payment services. I just selected digital currency. And then if we click on the accelerate for 64.85, um, like I say, I'm just gonna demonstrate the process for you. So here we've got some payment instructions, which is for the Bitcoin cash payment. So a, a bit like sending a normal Bitcoin uh, payment. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is use a Bitcoin cash wallet on my phone. So I've got the, uh, the Coinomy app on my phone, which is really good by the way. And then we just select it to like QR code mode. And I'm gonna select the QR code on the screen. And it just comes up with the details. So we wanna to pay to this address and for this amount. Um, and obviously we would send that from there onwards. Um, in this instance, I'm not gonna send it because essentially it will be a waste of, um, you know, best part of $65. So I'm not gonna do that. But I have used this service previously for several other transactions and they all completed within uh, an hour to just a few hours. So the service does work, but you need to pick and choose. Obviously use your common sense about which which services are going to be um, good for you. So that pretty much um, sums up this video. There wasn't uh, an awful lot in there. I wanted to keep it sort of quite simple and quite focused. There is other sort of ways um, to boost these Bitcoin transactions. I might do other videos about them in, in the future, but this is the easiest and simplest way, uh, albeit the most, probably the most expensive way to unstick that transaction. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments area and I'll be sure to read them and get back to you guys. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.